Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the last two part of question number first. Again, you have to factorize this using suitable identity. So let's solve the first part. Before factorizing, let's expand this value. So this is a plus b whole square, and we know that a plus b whole square is basically equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this term can be expanded as a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square. So this is a square plus 2ab plus b square because our a and b are lm. So instead of ab, we are writing lm. And this is minus 4 lm. This will remain as it is. Now this is l square. This is m square and because this and this are like terms this is lm and again this is lm and 4 this is 2 and plus minus should be minus so 4 minus 2 is minus 2 lm minus sign because greater sign has minus sign now this value can be factorized using the formula which is a minus b whole square Is basically equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square, and this is same as this. Now let's convert. Our a square is l square. Our b square is m square, and minus 2a into b, which are l and m. So this is a square plus b square minus 2ab, which are which is same as a square plus b square minus 2ab. Uh, when the terms are shifted, there is no difference. So the expression will remain same. Now we know that a square plus b square minus 2ab is basically equals to a minus b whole square. So instead of this, this is equals to this can be written. Now L M L minus M whole square is the uh, is actually meaning L minus M into L minus M. So this is how we can solve the first part. In the second again, we have to use a suitable identity because these are plus terms. So first of all, we have to use this uh, this one identity. Now we have to convert a square. Here it is a raised to power four. So if I write it as a square whole raised to power two, so actually our a here is a square means the first term is a square. Similarly, the second term can again be written as b square whole raised to power two. So this whole term is a. And this complete term is b, so this is a square and this is b square, and in between this is plus two. Our a is a square, our b is b square. So this is a square plus b square plus two ab. So we know that this is equals to a plus b whole square. So we have converted this. Into factor form. Now this again can be written as a square b square, and again multiplied with same term because this square means same multiplied with same. So this is how we can solve the first question. In the next, we will solve the further questions. Thank you.